Right, why don't you just start at the top and tell me how I can help you? I'd thought about a number of years ago, getting some things done. I felt a wee bit kind of low. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Whilst all the treatment I've had is doing what it's supposed to do, yeah. unfortunately I've had a number of side effects and things that haven't just went back to the way it, you know, I was before. Yeah. Hair didn't come back, that was a total pain for me. But I felt like the chemo, and obviously I'm getting older, but I felt like it was just like a sudden ageing process. It was genuinely just a lift for yeah. me. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2018 and it was my first mammogram. I had no symptoms, no concerns. Got my letter in to go along to the breast screening clinic, which I did. Everything's okay at that point. And then a few weeks later, I got a letter in saying that there was something that they had noticed on it um, and they were inviting me back in I went in and they told me at that point that they were 99.9% .9 sure, which is as good an average as you can get, that I had breast cancer. From then on in, it was just like a roller coaster. That's the only way I can describe it. Information overload, but you have to have this feeling that you're in safe hands. I was given a lumpectomy, so I had two lymph nodes removed. So then it was a suggestion that, as well as radiotherapy, I should consider chemotherapy. So I decided to go away and think about it, speak to my daughter about it, because my daughter was getting married that year. It just felt like everything was happening that year. But I was thankful that I was still able to go to my daughter's wedding. Although my initial treatment had stopped, I just wasn't the same person. My face, the volume had gone, it had sagged, and people were still telling me things like, you're looking good, honey, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're through the worst. I understand where they're coming from, I totally get where they're coming from, but you know, you just, everything drags you down. I'm gonna hold the mirror, and I'd like you just to point out to me the things that you don't like. I would need to probably go <laughs> a whole lot. Um, probably, I just need just a wee bit of freshening up, just to give me a bit of bling. Yeah. Um, glasses usually hide this part, yeah. um, so it's always been below yeah. here. It's just this. It's that section. It's this there. section. So, and that's the section that we should focus on. So, it's what you see in the mirror that you don't like. That's the thing that I want to improve for you. I think we can make a huge improvement to all of this by restoring some of the volume and the compartments of the cheek that I would restore are just in there, see where that case is in there, okay? Mm -hmm. But I would also come round the back of the cheek here, just see the way your face is getting quite narrow mm -hmm. and we're losing volume at the back of the cheek in front of the ear. So we want to widen that section of the cheek at the back and then same sort of thing on the other side. Does that sound as though it's addressing the areas of volume loss that you're seeing when you're looking in the mirror? Oh, yeah. I think we should come up with like a little programme of treatment that we do maybe now over the next couple of months. Starting with a little bit of filler up here, uh, coming back doing a little bit more in the lower face and then coming back after that to look at maybe doing some laser treatments. Yep, sounds good. Uh, yep. Sounds. Yep, sounds fab. I went for the aesthetic option and fillers because there was nothing I could do to make myself feel any better. Even if I put a wee bit of makeup on or anything went out, it was always that way when somebody took a picture of me. I didn't want to be in the picture first and foremost, but then when I got the picture, I thought, look at the rest of them. I just looked at the rest of the people in the picture and I thought, I'm just wasted their picture. That's how I actually felt. So I just reached the decision where I want to do something, I need to do it for me. Right, so I'm going to do my first little needle scratch, okay? So you're going to feel just a wee sharp scratch here, sorry. That day when I looked in the mirror from the first few injections of fillers, I noticed it was just like I had a wee bit of me, the old me, back. It was an instant lift for me and it was a no-brainer. 
you know, when he made a couple of other suggestions about some wee things, I thought, yeah, just go for it, because I just, I thought this is my chance just to make me feel almost human again. 